It's bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Yeah, it's bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Can you guys tell I watch way too many kids shows? <laughs> All right, but today we are gonna be talking about the Jeffree Star banana fetish collection, which by the way is not kid friendly, so need to throw that out there. All right, but of course, we're going to be talking about all of the collection, my thoughts on it, as well as bundle options, because I know you guys love to save some money. So if you are ready, let's do this. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexandra, aka the not so evil stepmother. And obviously, as you guys can tell, we are filming in a new location and I am super excited for it. Well, it's not technically a new location. It's a new area, same room. I had to redo the entire beauty room. It was like, it was the whole thing. But if you see the background twinkling, it's because it is, it took me forever to set this entire thing up, but I'm very, very happy with it. I still have to make some tweaks, so just bear with me a little bit. But let's get into the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Banana Fetish Collection, because we all know Jeffree's got a little bit of a fetish for bananas. I mean, I do too. Can't be mad at him. What I mean. All right, so let's talk about the palette first, because I have to say, I was very surprised when I saw the little sneak peek on IG, and then when he opened the palette on his reveal video, I was expecting a lot brighter of yellows and I feel like he really kind of toned it down on this one you guys and I'm not mad at it I'm really not like at first I was like I don't know if I like this because I'm not look I just have a little bit of like a yellowish greenish tint to my skin or undertone whatever you want to call it not really tint undertone you know what I'm saying but the point is is yellows are like the one color that I can't get away with without putting in some color contacts or something because it just looks weird. You know what I mean? But some of these shades look like I might be able to get away with them. So I'm kind of excited for that. The other thing is he changed the pan in these. So no longer are we doing, you know, the square pans. He has octagon uh, shape pans, which thought that was a very interesting little, little change up there. And then you got to love the prints, the actual banana print across the center of the center pans. And then, I mean, I, I honestly did not think that I was going to like this as much as I do you guys, but I really kind of like this. I'm a little weird about the pink and the blue in there, but he said he had to do something to break it up. So it wasn't all like monotonous yellow. I mean, I feel like all of his other monochromatic palettes. I guess maybe they had some other kind of shades to break them up, but I'm, again, not mad at it. We'll, we'll use it. You know what I mean? All right. So of course this palette is going to retail just like all his other palettes, $52 dollars dues. And then the other thing he is dropping with these are new F-proof mascaras. So there are three shades, a periwinkle, a chocolate fondue, and then one in banana fetish, of course, because, you know, you can't have a banana launch without a banana fetish F-proof mascara. Almost said the word there. Almost got me right there. All right. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to grab any of the mascaras because I just grabbed his newest one and I just grabbed a newer F-proof um, to review in this video. If you guys didn't check it out, I'll, I'll put it up here. But either way, I like this a lot better than the F-proof. The F-proof okay it was okay it wasn't my favorite by any means but it wasn't my least favorite but this you guys oh I mean like just amazing like if you love thick fluffy brows this is gonna be your guy so anyways uh I'm not gonna be picking that up but what I will be picking up in its place is I'm definitely gonna be grabbing the purple on these eye gloss powders because if you guys haven't snagged one of these yet so I have one of them on my eye right now. Gorgeous. But let's get back to this collection. All right. So the other thing he is going to be doing is he's going to be dropping some new skincare with this launch, which I definitely have some thoughts about. Now, I don't want to get too much into, but I'll show you guys the product. So the first one is the Banana Fetish Hydrating Moisturizer. And the reason I don't want to get too much into these is because literally in a couple of days, I'm going to be posting my two month review of Jeffree Star skin. So we're going to have like a whole conversation on his moisturizer and lip mask and all the things. So I don't want to like give you guys too much, but um, 
I am interested in trying out the moisturizer, not so much the lip mask, only because he said that he changed some ingredients in the moisturizer or added some ingredients in there. And then it's, you know, banana scented. So I don't know. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. We'll see. But the other thing that I'm very interested in is the banana fetish body scrub. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not actually a big fan of bananas. I mean, I like the, you know, bananas, but not like the fruit. You know what I mean? So, um, I just, I'm not the biggest fan of the smell. However, there are some, some smells, some banana smells out there that I really have enjoyed. Like the Briogeo banana coconut shampoo. Oh, that is like heavenly. So I'm kind of hoping it's going to be one of those type of deals, but I love body scrubs. You guys know I love, love, love body scrubs and I use them like nonstop throughout the summer. I use them before my IPL. I use them before I self tan. I go through multiple tubs of body scrubs. So I am excited for this. A little nervous about the smell but excited nonetheless. Now he's also gonna be dropping three new flavored lip scrubs, which I love. Banana Bunt Cake, Banana Cream Pie, and Banana Split. I'm not gonna be grabbing any of these, mainly because I got a lot of lip scrubs right now, but yeah, anyways. There's those, if you guys, any of them sound good to you. His lip scrubs aren't bad. They're not my favorite, just mainly, they used to be a long time ago, but I have found better ones. So. Sorry, Jeffrey. All right. Um, he's also going to be dropping tumblers, which he said everybody has been wanting him to drop tumblers. So he's finally doing it. I'm actually surprised that it took him this long. So he's going to, of course, it's going to match the palette. He's going to have a yellow tumbler, a blue one, and a pink one. And then, of course, it's Jeffrey. He's got to drop a hoodie and a t-shirt or two, which I actually, if it didn't have banana fetish, you know, written across it I might actually grab this because I like the little splatter on it like if you would have done the splatter with little thing like this the little Jeffree Star logo I totally would have snatched that right on up but because it says banana feathers I don't want you know can't wear that to the kids school so there's that he's also going to be doing a banana fetish palette tee which basically is going to have printed all over it all the shade names of the palette so there's that. Now he is going to have a couple of bundles as well because, you know, we love to save some money, but I'm only seeing one of them on here right now. And it's the banana fetish skincare bundle. And it looks like that is going to retail for $64 and it's going to have all three of the skincare products. So the body scrub, the moisturizer, the lip mask, which, you know, that's not a bad price actually. I mean, you're going to save a little bit of money there. Where is the other one? I thought you said he was going to have. Oh, here it is. I found it. Found it. Okay. The Banana Fetish Cosmetic Bundle. So this is going to include all three F-proof mascaras, all three lip scrubs, and then the palette. And this is going to retail for $130. I'm not going to be getting that. I think I'm just going to get the palette. I also think I'm going to definitely get the body scrub, maybe the moisturizer, and then I'm probably going to grab a purple one of these because I got to have the purple. <laughs> I told you guys in that video, I got to have the purple. So yeah, I think that's what I'm working with. And that's uh, plenty of money. One of these days, Jeffrey, you and I, okay, I'm going to be on your PR list. We're going to do magical things together. I promise. I'm like putting it out there, manifesting, you know, just saying. All right. Okay. So, uh, what do you guys think about the banana fetish collection? Are you planning on picking anything up? If so, let me know down below. Cause I'm very interested to hear your guys' thoughts on this. I I'm surprised that he hasn't done a yellow palette yet. I was very surprised when he opened it. Cause I was expecting a lot brighter of some yellows, but again, and this happens all the time, we'll see pictures of the palette and even on video and then you get it in person and it looks completely different. So I'm really excited to get my hands on this. I'm very nervous about it because yellow, as I said, it's just not my jam. You know what I mean? Oranges, pinks, reds, blues, greens, any other color, but yellow, it's just, it's not my jam. But we're going to try it. I'm, I'm excited for it. And I mean, it looks like there is quite a few neutral tones. I really like the eye look that he had on yesterday. I am excited. I'm really excited. And I think, I'm going to be honest here. I think that the reason he finally did the yellow and did it, if you guys actually look at the palette, there's quite a few neutral tones in this palette. And I think the reason being is because kind of 
neutral tones have been selling like crazy. Everybody's been all over them for some odd reason. I don't know why. They're making their rounds again. And so I think this is a smart drop for him to drop this now, have the neutrals in there, not have his crazy bright yellows. This is just my opinion on what he's thinking. Can I just say, though, I love the little banana on the front. You can tell what he was doing there. Come on. Come on. All right. So anyways. <sighs> okay. I mean, I've always said that I think the Jeffree Star symbol looks like a banana. I mean, if you look at it, you know, here's the, and the two, you know, just saying. Once I show it to you, you can't unsee it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Steve showed it to me forever ago. And now I can't unsee it either. It's just there. But Either way, absolutely am excited for this. Very excited to share my thoughts on his skincare line, which will be coming in a couple of days, literally a couple of days. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. And also make sure that the notification bell is set. Also because I might have some things coming, some surprise things like some surprise live events where if you're there, you might get something. I'm just saying, cause I did a lot, a lot, you guys. And I'm, I've got like, it, this has all gotta go. And, and we're gonna talk about that in another video, but for right now, I'm just, you know, I can't, yeah, there we go. Wink, wink, you know, subscribe. Make sure your notifications are set and just double check. Even if you think you already have your notifications set to notify all, you might want to double check just because I've had a lot of complaints about YouTube supposedly resetting people's notification settings and also unsubscribing them. So just double check you guys. I'm just saying, just saying, just saying. All right. So that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've had one too many cups of coffee, obviously, but that's okay. You know? This is good times, good times. I'm very excited. Let me know what you think about the background too. Too much, too little. Do you want the, 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 the lights to twinkle more? They twinkle more, are you ready please? Oh no, that's a slow twinkle. I'm all like, let me show you. And then, sorry, the little thing is behind me. There we go, see they twinkle more. I feel like it looks like little, you know, um, what do you call those? Fireflies. They look like little fire. Well, not when it twinkles like that or that, but you know, where I had it set on before, I felt like it looked like fireflies. You know, there you go. Slow twinkles, slow twinkles. All right. I will see you guys later. Bye.